Hello guys, welcome back to the uh, PhoneGap video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we can manage or uh, use the contact API in PhoneGap applications for Android as well as in iOS. The same application you can execute in Android. Uh, today I'm going to show you that application in iOS. Okay, so I hope you have watched my earlier videos in which uh, we have uh, talked about uh, how we can create contact, find contacts. Okay. So I think this is the fifth video tutorial for uh, contact APIs. So let's start for today's work. Today, actually I have a very simple example. Uh, first of all, I'll explain what I have uh, written the code. First of all, uh, we have uh, used the code over.js file which is located in our uh, folder. Sorry. Uh, yeah which is located at the root codova.js this is the codova.js file which is included in uh, project by default when you create the phone gap applications if you don't know then you can follow my existing videos in which I have explained all the steps how we can create the phone gap application in Android so here I have a check the device ready event after device ready I am creating a new contact for finding okay uh, uh, here is a filter uh, that means uh, I need all contacts uh, I also want a multiple contacts if you set by default this multiple is false if you set to true then only you can get the multiple contacts in the result okay uh, I would like to uh, display uh, I would like to fetch or find uh, the particular contacts based on display name or name okay and this is in my function find in which I have passed the three callback functions okay on success I am just uh, displaying all the addresses of the contacts if available okay so I am just running this application without any changes see I am getting the result particular contacts contact 1 2 okay I am getting all the addresses of Particular contacts. Uh, if you set to multiple to false, then you will get only one contact at a time. So let's see if I'm setting the false or by default it's a false. I'm just getting a only one single alert. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the contact app. These are the my addresses. Sorry, these are the my contacts which is I have already in, uh, included in this uh, contact applications. Now I would like to search filter on. Oops, on a particular contact. So here I have specified the filter criteria, whose name is Abhishek. Okay. So uh, right now I am not getting any alert. Okay, but if I check over here. then I'll get a single alert for contacts that means I'm finding a single contact but I'm not finding the address length okay if you check I'll get that zero contacts of I dot addresses dot length okay this is the main contact alert which I have got and after that uh, it's a zero okay wait a minute mm, let me print the length directly one and after that uh, it's a getting undefined that means uh, there is not any uh, other details in this object so uh, let me stringify this so we'll get all the objects available in the contact of I one okay this is the whole address sorry this is the whole object that is the contacts of I that is ID is 22, row ID, display name, 
the given name formatted name which uh, we have searched uh, we have specified the criteria for searching uh, the context right guys and uh, if you check you will not get any uh, object called address uh, yeah I got the addresses but it's nil so I'll not get any length for that so uh, we didn't get any alert for that right guys I hope you have a, uh, you guys have understood uh, whatever I have explained uh, in this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you like this, then you can please uh, subscribe for more uh, more other video tutorials on a phone gap and other technologies too. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, bye bye.